Some people are just mm, full of it. I'm trying to find some other words to explain this, but here it is. FDR didn't pass Medicaid or Medicare. That was LBJ. My comment is about how Americans understand the role of government. FDR, flawed as he was, proved government had to play a central role in solving crises. He set the stage for LBJ. Then Reagan came along and set back progress for decades. Today, our government is still operating under the Reagan pragnum that dictates mark, mark excuse me, that dictates markets are generally better at solving problems than the federal government. Industry is seen as a partner more than a subject, but the arrangement doesn't work. Healthcare is a prime example. That's a lot of word salad, but FDR did not set the stage for LBJ. LBJ took on some of the stuff that Kennedy wanted to do, but couldn't do it and didn't get around to do it. The only reason why LBJ passed some of his stuff in the Great Society or got his stuff passed through Congress from the Great Society because he got pressured by civil rights leaders like civil rights leaders like Martin Luther King. And the reason back to FDR why he passed some of that stuff, which he did pass Medicaid and Medicare in the Great New Deal. I mean, excuse me, in the New Deal. But it wasn't for black people. That's what Walker forgot to mention. See, this whole liberal case for whiteness proves that black people will never be involved. That's why I don't understand why black leftists supports this kind of shit. But who am I and who is me? But to Walker, for you to have a law degree and have a lot of education, you're saying a lot of falsehoods out here, buddy. So going forward, please pick up a history book and stop spreading misinformation because you're looking sad and bad out here.